Hey buddy, this is 54 Newstar, and this is Save and Load with Construct 2, the advanced version. Um, I'm going to show you what we are going to do here. It's basically our very simple demo game. One room, you move around, the enemy kind of notices you if you're close to them. So we're going to go to this far corner, and I'm going to hit the escape button, and I'm going to hit this orange bar, and then I'm going to click save one. And then I'm going to hit the red exit button. And then I'm going to go visit our little enemy friend. He's following me somewhat. Still need to fix his AI. And then I'm going to hit the exit button or the escape button. I'm going to hit the green load. I'm going to load one. And then I'm going to exit. Boom. We're here. Now what happens is is when I hit the uh, green button, it loads the last thing that happened. Um, well, okay, when 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 you save it, it saves all the data. It basically takes a data picture of everything that's going on during that time, where you are, what is happening, what's up, what's not up, what the enemies are doing, what everything is doing, and then it saves it in a save file, and then when you hit load it actually will load up everything so what you so you know you you see the save button just ignore it hit the exit button and once you do that your game is unpaused the enemies are still gonna go after you you can save it right here you can move back over here hit the escape button hit load suddenly you're back over there okay um, that's all nice and dandy 54 new star but how about the fact what when I exit off accidentally and I go back on and it didn't save or you know it doesn't load up well actually it does load up hit that hit the load button boom hey we're here now I'm gonna show you with an extreme version so we're gonna go all again all the way back over here with our enemy we're gonna pause it see it's pause I'm gonna hit save we're going to save it, we're going to exit, and then we're going to bring it up again. So, you know, we see the enemies right here, hit the escape button, we're going to load, load one, and there we go. Our enemy is right there with us. So, let's do this, it also pauses the game, so it's a great mini little pause menu. Um, I will have to tell you that you do have to keep track of multiple items, and this version of the save and load but once you do that it's pretty much very simple what you're gonna have to do first is have your basic layer with your basic level and then you want to have a level that is above your so your my level layer zero my level or layer zero excuse me I keep saying level and layer my layer zero is for my player is where my objects are where everything basic in the game happens layer one is um, where all the save items happen. Now I don't want them to get out of view of the camera so I set them to be parallel axis 0-0. Zero zero. So uh, that would be these boxes. Now these boxes will spawn everything that's off camera. So uh, this box right here will spawn this blue box. This box with a dot in it will spawn the green box. This blue green box will spawn the orange and so forth and so on because you know we have other save objects we got that and we got that so let's get let's get to this uh, you're gonna need again the layer but once you do that you're also going to need to pop in uh, four boxes so that box that box that box and that box where you want the buttons to appear Remember, the more save and load button uh, items, uh, then you're going to need to put more invisible boxes. And uh, you, you can't actually do that. It's basically, if once I hit the escape button, I hit the load button, and then I can have this, that, and that button. I can have three load spaces, load spaces because I can have a... Um, the items load up on those layers or can have extra invisible boxes 
So we're going to go to our event sheet. So all your save box items, so that will be on layer one, that will be on layer one, that will be a layer one. Everything right here, all these items right here, layer one, the, the items that you're going to see. This, um, and I'm going to explain this in the code, not right now, is also in layer one. But, okay, so we have our advanced save option, code. On key press, that's the escape key. Set time scale to zero so it pauses your game so you're not dying while you're saving the game. Set the blue box, this blue box, to position. This is set to position. Sprite 9. The Sprite 9 is a great box right here. Okay, in the middle of the screen. Set load. This is the load button to position where the gray, uh, gray box with the circle in it. That's down here. Set the uh, save to the blue yellow box. That's up here. And set p uh, the um, exit button to sprite 12, which is just over here. So that means when you hit the escape button, you're basically G uh, GUI for do you want to save or load will pop up. On uh, left button, click Sprite 8. That's the exit button right here. Because remember, this object told this object to go right where it is, to cover it up, basically. You're going to set the time scale back to 1, which is normal speed. And then you're going to, um, remember, we have this, doo -doo -doo -doo. We have this brown gray box over here. Well, we're going to tell all our items to basically return to that box to spawn over there to re you know return leave the game scene we don't need you anymore we're returning to the game but we need you in the background in case we want to save again so you you want to set position of everything it's right here in your save save boxes uh, just these things that appear on screen these ghosted images will remain on screen but invisible and then um, your save sprites or boxes or whatever on left click save set position uh, to background image so once you click on the um, yeah I'll show you okay so we can see them with the escape button once we do this we, we click on the orange button, it sends the orange button, the green button, and all that stuff. Uh, basically, those two buttons back over to here, and then we hit save, and then we hit X, and once we hit X, it will send uh, those items back over to here. Okay, so... So we hit the save button, it sends our save orange box and our load orange box back to this, uh, you know, our home point, basically, our out of view camera box, where we are, or where we are going to store everything until we need them again. But we're going to spawn our save button um, over basically right here. So we still have our orange button, we still have our exit button, uh, but we just spawn a new button called save. And then um, on, left button, on left button click on load, we then will um, basically do the same thing what we did over here. We send these items back to the, home, uh, to the uh, store point and then I have two of these, don't need two of them. I will take that, uh, our load button, a load point one button, and I will spawn it to right over here. And one of the spawn points. And this is basically saying, okay, on every time we go to this layout, um, the time scale is normal one. On left button, click sprite save. Uh, save to game, uh, and this is basically, I'm going to go back here. We're going to go to system 
and then we're going to type in save and it's basically save my save one done and then once we click that uh, set time scale to one we can actually delete that we don't need that and um, well, what you can actually do is once you click my save one is that the boxes these boxes all that will uh, do what we did before like when we hit the exit button is return over to here but I wanted it as like an extra pause menu or whatever so we hit play and we hit the escape button we hit save we actually do have to hit the uh, exit button and if we load, we load that, and we X out that. Um, but we, we, what you can do is when you hit the load button, is set uh, the um, set the save button, and set all of the items uh, located with the. Basically, what you'll do is you'll tell these items because when you hit load, it loads the last thing you did. Or the last scene while it was saving and that was the save menu and the video game so what you can do is when you hit load is you can tell the save button and the blue box to disappear and then you can tell the load button to disappear so that would be on left click save you're gonna you're gonna save the game and Yeah, save and then you're going to tell um, that's load that save okay we're gonna tell this sprite object to go over to this background gray item and then we're going to tell the here we go okay, I got drag and drop Tell that to return, and then we return to the game. So we hit the escape button. We click that, and then see that was the issue though. You would have to click it off screen because it went. There we go. Uh, let me tell you the issue with this. It's because because this situated item is located right over this item it automatically does it basically double click it clicks that item and you're over another item so it decides oh you want to click that item and so it gets kind of really annoying um because you saved it and you didn't even know it so So let's just leave that normal um, without that because it comes with a, a few extra bugs that you don't want to handle. So the best thing to do is run layout, hit, hit the escape button, hit save, hit that button, and then hit the exit button, and then you're good to go. Also, it leaves it as another pause menu, if you will. If you, see, it automatically pauses it, so it solves that issue, and then you just got to exit it. Okay, on left button click load. When you load, what we want to do is we want to um, set position of the blue box back to our um, our storing point. And then we want to do the same thing to the load button. It's set its position back to the background button. So, okay, we're going to hit save, we save, we save that, we have to exit that. Do, 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 we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. I want to go back to the, the beginning, so we hit that, we hit load. And it's not doing that. I think it's... It's on like, okay, it's restarting the scene, um, basically. So that's basically the save and load system. Um, it, it's very simple once you get used to it. You just have to do a lot of repetition of hit the escape button, 
uh, when I hit the escape button, all these items will set their position to these predestined items that are moving around in the scene invisible. So they're always on the screen. Once I hit the red button or the exit button, all these items will back to their storing point, which is uh, a brown box. And the time scale or the time in the video game will return from from pause to regular play uh, speed. And then on the left button click save, it brings up a save box which says, okay, do you want to save it in uh, save slot one, two, three, or four? And you know, it deletes some item, not deletes, it moves some items back to their store point in the game. And it brings up some other ones and you click, I want to save in, in a save slot one, done. And then I want to save button, click load. So it delete it moves some points from the uh, s store point to the screen, and it removes some screen items to the store point. And then you have your uh, load button. So when you click save, it saves it in my save slot one. But you can also have a save item two, and it will bring that up in a uh, save slot too and you can have your load button so you have something like this so move at an angle save save exit and then I'm gonna move and I'm gonna load load one exit that boom good to go um, we still have this black box and I still have it assigned out I still have the whole the old soul save system for the uh, remember when you're pressing a key it'll save and load also um, if the player hits the or uh, has collision with the black box it saves so I just want to warn you guys if you have any issues avoid the black box and actually I will make it smaller for you guys so you don't hit it but when you hit the when you go through the black box it saves it so just don't do that and don't hit the number keys. This is a mult. This is uh, one of my mega um, um, files where it's gonna explain several things in one game. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I knew it was. I know it's a bit of a headache, but that's why I'm giving you the file too, so you can go through everything. It should explain everything, and then the next tutorial for tomorrow, guys, will be an advanced health system, and that's a bit like this. It's a bit overwhelming, but once you get used to building them, it's quite easy to do. Um, again, guys, hit the like button, subscribe if you would like to see more videos or stay in contact with the channel. Again, it's not a requirement. And I would like to see more comments down below on what you would like to see me do tutorials on in a particular game engine um, or more uh, tutorials in a Construct 2 game engine, a Copper Cube game engine, which is a 3D tutorial series I will be doing quite soon, or if you would like to see a particular game walkthrough. Again, guys, this is 54 News Star signing out.